Hi guys, so I just got out of class and I ran to Ulta really quick. I got a few things there. I went with my roommate and I'm gonna show you guys that in a second, but we're gonna go to the gym right now. We literally like don't know like what else to do. We're so bored because it's the first week of classes at my school. So we really like don't have that much homework or anything and the classes are super short. It's just basically like the teacher going over your syllabus. But we're getting ready to go to the gym and I just wanted to get a little snack before I work out because it's so important just to like eat before your workout. I know for me at least like I can't work out unless I eat something before. So I am just gonna be having one of my favorite RX bars. You guys don't know what they are. I'm gonna show you and tell you a little bit about them. And this is the box that they come in and they are Gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, there's no added sugar and no BS. I absolutely love these protein bars because I feel like when you eat protein bars, other brands, they have so many different additives and sugars and stuff like that, and I really just don't like that at all. So basically, all the ingredients are what is on the front. So this one is chocolate and sea salt, and it literally has three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, and no BS, obviously because that's all that there is inside. And they literally taste the way that they sound. Like this one literally tastes like chocolate and sea salt. They're so easy, you can just put one in your bag and then bring it with you and they actually keep you full for really long. And look how many different flavors they come in. Like they have mi mixed berry. I love this one right here. This one is peanut butter. That one's my favorite. I also love the chocolate peanut butter one. And then this one is chocolate and sea salt. They also have coconut chocolate and then blueberry. So this one is my absolute favorite, the blueberry and the peanut butter right here. But I'm so excited to try all of these other ones. And thank you to RX Bar for sponsoring this video. For 25% off of your first order, if you guys wanna try the RX Bars, you can visit rxbar.com slash Maggie and use the code Maggie. They have so many different flavors. You guys are gonna be absolutely, absolutely obsessed if you're looking for like a healthy snack or whatever. If you're in school, you can bring these to college or bring them to class with you and just pop them in your bag. They're super easy and all the flavors are so, so, so good. My favorite is the peanut butter and also the blueberry one right here. So I think today I'm gonna have the blueberry one and I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym right now and then I will check back in with you guys when I get back. And I also just got back from Ulta. I got a few things I just want to show you guys. So I absolutely love the Naked 2 palette and I'm gonna show you like what my palette looks like right now because I was having the biggest struggle when I was at Ulta. If you guys saw my Snapchat, like you would have known what I was talking about. So basically I just tried out every single like bronzy brown eyeshadow that I thought was gonna match the suspect one because this is my palette right here. As you can see, you can tell which ones are my favorite and Suspect is my absolute favorite and I used all of it. And they don't individually sell Suspect at Ulta. So I had to buy one that was like identical to it and it is called, what's it called? Chase. So I got that in order to replace this one because I literally use that with Half Baked and then I use um, Snake Bite. And that's what I do when I go out. But I didn't find the suspect one so i had to get this one instead oh and then i also got one of the nyx intense butter glosses and this one is in the shade cherry custard i want to try this out to see what it looks like but i really really love the nyx butter glosses you guys know that but i am obsessed with the nyx fortune cookie lip gloss and it's so amazing it's like the perfect nude pink color and honestly they're only five dollars so that's why they're so good and i feel like i've tried so many high-end lip glosses like i used to wear the mac one i've tried um, like Tarte, I've tried so many and all of them just make my lips feel like sticky if that makes any sense Like I don't know why I just they just don't go on nicely. They're not like creamy I really 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 like the NYX one So I wanted to get this one because I like wearing different colors when I go out So I just thought that getting like a bright red pinky color would be fun Also because I feel like I have a lot of red lip glosses, but they're also matte and I hate matte on myself so I'm really excited to try this one out. Now I need to change and go to the gym. This is literally what I've been wearing all day. You guys know that these sweatpants are my absolute favorite. They are my Brandy Melville sweatpants and then I'm just wearing my little Stan Smiths with Emma's Brandy Melville crop sweatshirt. She's gonna see this and be like, oh my God, Maggie, like you took my sweatshirt. But it was in my bag from California. And then I have my LA hat on, cause this hat is my favorite. You guys know I used to always wear my blue LA hat, but then I just felt like, I don't know, I love red. Red's my absolute favorite color. So I had to get the red one. When I was in LA and it was perfect because I was in LA and that's like 
where I got it. So it's kind of like meaningful now. Now people can stop asking me like, oh my god, do you like the LA Dodgers? Because no, I don't. I truly like the hat and I love LA. So yeah. Oh, and I also got my roommate one from LA too and it's so cute. If you, she wears it, I will show you guys what it looks like because it's so cute and it was so hard. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, I need to get this for her because her and I always wear the blue ones. So I just thought that it was appropriate to get to that since I was in LA, as you guys know. So now I need to get ready to go to the gym. Another thing that I noticed is that my closet has so much stuff in it and I brought so much with me to California. You guys know that my bag was like over 50 pounds and it's so bad because I don't wear half the clothes that I own. So I'm going to be posting a ton on Poshmark coming up because I have way too much stuff. So I need to get ready for the gym now. I really have been wanting to wear these leggings. Like I didn't bring them with me to California and I like missed them a lot. So I think I'm going to wear these. And I'll probably wear these. And then I need a sports bra. Um, maybe I'll wear that black one from Forever 21. I'm ready to have a good workout. And I have to vlog, so that's my roommate right there. But this is what I'm wearing to the gym. I changed my whole entire outfit, the one I picked out. So I'm just wearing these blue aligns with my Forever 21 favorite sports bra. This aloe jacket. My wireless beats that I've missed oh so very much. When I was in California, I didn't have them. And then my NMDs. So I need to grab my chapstick, my phone. Where's my wallet? I just got back from the gym and I went with Kaylee. There she is right back there. I need to like introduce her in a video. We need to redo the roommate tag because we did that so long ago and that it was like, it. yeah, and it got deleted by accident. One night I was at her work with her and I was like on my computer like trying to do something with my videos and like change like this thing and it accidentally deleted my um, roommate tag. So if you guys want to see a roommate tag video, give this video a thumbs up. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got at the store because you guys are usually like interested in what I get when I go grocery shopping. So I just got two bags of Boom Chicka Pop because this is like my favorite little snack treat thing to have. I just get the regular sea salt plain one. It's like my favorite ever. And then I also got some light 100 calorie multigrain English muffins. And I love eating those with banana and peanut butter on them. And then I just got, what are those? Those are from my dishwasher. Then there are some baby carrots in here because I love to have those for a snack. And then I also got some bananas to put on top of the English muffins. Then I just got a few of the plain Chobani Greek yogurts. And I get the plain ones because honestly all of the ones that are like different flavored like blueberry and strawberry, they all have like added sugars in them. And like I was saying before, I don't like anything with added sugars. That's why I eat my little RX bars over there because there's no added sugar. And I'd rather just put plain, like cut up fruit into it. That didn't make any sense. I'd rather put like fresh cut up fruit in them. And then I got some broccoli because I'm gonna eat grilled chicken with broccoli tonight for dinner. Then I also got a bunch of apples because I love having apples for a snack. They are really satisfying and I feel like if I have one apple, they keep me full for a while. And then the last thing I got was just some all natural chicken because I'm gonna make chicken for dinner tonight. So yeah, that is what I got at the grocery store. So I thought that I would give you guys like a little after I shower routine or what like what I do when I get out of the shower because everyone's like, oh my god, like what do you do to your hair? Like what products do you put in it? So this is what I use in my hair after I shower every single time. And it is the Pantene Pro V Serious Repair Mist Detangler. And it just looks like this. And it just comes in this bottle. You can get it at the drugstore. And I go like spray it all over my head. Make sure to get it in the ends. And then I just take this wet brush right here and brush it out. And this is literally all I do to my hair every time. And I have to use a detangler because my hair is so like fine and straight that it like gets tangled really, really easy. So I like need a detangler or else I won't be able to brush my hair. And honestly, like it helps the brush go through it a lot better. So I'm just gonna brush out my hair. And then I think I'm gonna do a face mask. So I'll show you guys which one. And then after that, go into like my skincare and stuff that I do at nighttime. So now I'm just gonna put my hair in a bun so I can do a little face mask, 
so it like keeps it out of my face and stuff so i don't know which one i'm going to use i have these ones right here from whole foods that i really love and this is just what they look like they come in these little packages right here there's a brightening face mask a luminous face mask i have those and then i also have my origins clear improvement charcoal mask which i absolutely love but i think i'm in the mood to use one of these so i'm going to use this one it's the instant luminous face mask and it's just a one-time use and you keep it on for 10 to 20 minutes and it's supposed to nourish and energize to illuminate tone and help smooth texture for an uplifted appearance that's like what i need right now ever since i got back from california my face is like getting dry again so i'm gonna put on some chapstick i feel like i'm like in such a chill tired mood right now like i'm still jet lagged i swear oh okay i'm gonna take a brush and apply it with a brush just because i want to be able to get all of the product out and on my face and i'm gonna use the viewfinder to look at it oh my god it smells like a creamsicle it literally smells so good so i'm just gonna apply it all over and since it is a one-time use because it comes in like this little package right here i'm gonna try to like use as much as i can it smells so good it smells like one of those like creamsicle popsicles like from when you were little the orange ones with the cream in the middle that you used to get at like lunchtime at school <laughs> If you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below. Okay. I need to like even this out. It's like getting clumpy. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on my face for 10 to 20 minutes. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to wash it all off and show you guys like my nighttime little skincare routine type thing. So I just finished the mask and I wanted to show you guys like I need to take it off, but it like dried clear and it's really weird because like parts of it obviously haven't dried yet but they're like still on my face but i can feel it like i can't move my face because it's all like hardened but it dried clear and i thought that was really cool so i'm gonna go wash this off but i will be right back my face like really does feel like luminized now that i'm done with that face mask okay so now i'm gonna take my toner which is the fresh rose toner and then spray a little bit of it on a cotton pad and then just wipe that all over my face just in case any of the excess like dirt and stuff that were, was on my face during the day just so that all comes off and also um some of the face mask that i was just using so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe my face and then after i'm going to be going in with my favorite serum ever and it is the kensington apothecary ageist beauty serum and i'm just going to put a pump of that into my hand and rub that on as well and to finish it all off i'm just taking some of the cetaphil moisturizing lotion just looks like that and i'm going to be applying that all on my face and down my neck because it's so important to moisturize your neck as well because you don't want to get wrinkles there when you're older and so then after that i just apply some chapstick and i'm going to be applying the burt's bees strawberry chapstick on my lips after just to like hydrate them and moisturize them okay so now I am done and right now it's 6 22 so I have some homework to do and stuff and I'm literally just gonna like hang out with my roommate Kaylee and go to bed so I just want to end off the vlog here I hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you like vlogs just give like a comment down below and stuff let me know what you guys think because now that I am back in school like I'm not really doing that many excited th exciting things so maybe I can start doing like weekly vlogs or daily vlogs if you guys want to see more of my life when I'm at school so just let me know in the comments I'm so open to like whatever you guys want to see I want to be creating content that you guys want to see so let me know and thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys